All right, everybody, I'm making this video so you can make a chromatograph in um, Excel. Just for review, remember that these are rows and these are columns, and we can enter any information we want into the cells. This is a cell I have highlighted either by typing directly into the cell like so or up in the function bar there so we're gonna make a chromatograph for Barrow Alaska so and notice I can type anywhere I want into Excel so let's just put precipitation in and temperature Celsius. Okay, there we go. Let me just bring up my data over here. So let's put in the months January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. And now just typing the data. Okay, all of that's coming from your chromatograph worksheet. If I go too fast, you can always pause the video. Okay, that should be all my data. Just for visual presentation, let's center that, make it bold, make these bold. So anytime I'm graphing, I just want to highlight my information without highlighting any extra cells. And then we want to insert graph. Let's just select this one. And this is what we get. And we notice it doesn't look anything like a finished chromatograph. So you can see over here the blue line is precipitation, the red line is um, temperature, and we're missing an axis over here, and we're missing our months down here. In fact, they're way up here. So we already know that temperature or precipitation is always on this axis, which is the primary axis. So let's click on precipitation, right click. Select Format Data Series, and we notice it's already reading off the primary axis, so that's exactly where we want it. We can close that, and we know temperature reads off the secondary axis. So again, highlight it, right-click, Format Data Series, and we want to select Secondary Axis. Close. And you can see the numbers appeared over here on our secondary axis and the months moved down to where they're supposed to be. So now we have two line graphs. We know precipitation needs to be a bar graph. So again, we select the precipitation, right click, and we want to change series chart type. Select that, and select a column graph. And there we go. Now we know this is Barrow, Alaska, and it looks like it has a ton of rainfall because the scales that we're told to use in our directions on our worksheet are not correct. So let's change those. So we select our axis, right click, format the axis, and we want to change 
our minimum maximum values here. The minimum is fine at zero. And it tells us in our directions that the maximum should be 40 centimeters. So we want to change that. Close, and it changes. Notice it looks like we have much less rainfall now in Barrow, Alaska. And we want to do the same thing for our secondary axis. Click, right click, format the axis. And in this case, our minimum, we want it to be negative 40 according to our directions. And the maximum to be 40 degrees Celsius. Again, that's all in the directions on your worksheet. And close. Good. Now we get rid of the legend because these things are so standard that we don't even need the key there. Now, this looks like the climatograph for Barrow, Alaska, which is in the tundra. Little rainfall, temper climate, but we're missing any sort of labels, title and access labels. So we're going to go up here to layout. And we'll start with chart title. And you can select whichever you prefer here. And we just type the title. Row Alaska. And then the axis titles. Start with the primary horizontal, which is months. Then our primary vertical, which is the left, which will be precipitation. And last but not least, the secondary vertical axis, which should be temperature. So from there, you have a completed chromatograph, exactly as it should appear with your axis labels, title, and if you wanted to get fancy, you can start changing the background colors. And all you need to do to do that is click in the chart, right click, format the chart area, and you can change all sorts of options here. Let's do gradient fill. And we can change this area as well. Format plot area, gradient fill, close. You can also change the colors of the lines if you want. I format data series, line color. You can change it as you wish. I change it to green. Um, you can get a nice, fancy appearance to all of your graphs. Now, if I were wanted to cut and paste this into a Word document, I just select and I can copy it and then open my Word document and paste it into it. So if you have any questions, you can rewind the video and watch again. Thank you.